Hi, Miss Parsons class. My name is Kirsten, and I was in Miss Parsons class a bunch of years ago. And today I'm going to be reading you guys one of my favorite books, Meet the Barkers, Morgan and Moffat Go to School by Tommy Diapola. The Barkers were excited. The twins, Moffat and Morgan, were starting school. The big day was only a week away. Morgie, Moffy said, we have to decide what we need for school. Later, Moffy, Morgie said, he was looking at the pictures in his dinosaur book. Now, Moffy said, okay, Morgie said, but he kept on looking at the dinosaurs. Morgie was used to Moffy being bossy and he didn't mind most of the time. The twins had been born on the same day, but Moffy had been born first. I'm the oldest, so I get to go first, Moffy always said. Moffy was the first to walk. Morgie didn't mind. He just watched where Moffy went and walked when he was ready. Moffy was the first to bark. Morgie didn't mind. He just laughed and barked when he was ready. But Morgie was the first to be potty trained even though he was younger. And Moffy did mind, especially when she wet her pants. Morgie didn't tease her, but he knew that if he wet his pants, Moffy would have teased him. Morgan, Moffat, it's time to go to time to go shopping for school, Mama called. Hurry, Morgie, Moffy said. First they looked at backpacks. Moffy knew exactly the one she wanted, a blue one with a kitten on it. Morgie had a harder time. He looked at a blue one with a Tyrannosaurus Rex on the flap and a red one with an Apatosaurus on the flap. Mine is blue, Moffy said, so you have to take the red one. Okay, Morgie said. Now let's get our pencil boxes, Moffy said. Moffy and Morgie wanted the same purple box. It's my favorite color, Moffy said. It's my favorite color too, Morgie said. I changed my mind, Moffy said. Pink is my favorite color. I still like the purple, Morgie said. Finally, it was the big day. Moffy couldn't wait to get to school. Hurry up, Morgie, hurry up. The twins were going to be in the same class. Mama and Papa had asked the school to let them be together. Welcome class, the teacher said. I am Miss Shepherd. Let's go around the room and meet everyone. Moffy was standing right next to the teacher. Let's start with you, Miss Shepherd said. I am Moffy. Before Morgie could say anything, she said, this is my brother Morgie. We're twins. After everyone had said their names, they all sat down. Boys and girls, today we are going to learn our colors, Miss Shepherd said. I already know my colors, Moffy said, speaking right up. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, brown, and black. Very good, Moffy, Miss Shepherd said. Billy was sitting right next to Morgie. Your sister is smart, he said. Yes, she is, Morgie said. Do you want to see my dinosaur book? Sure, Billy said. How was your first day at school? Mama asked. I got a gold star because I know all my colors, Moffy said. And I met a new friend. His name is Billy. He likes dinosaurs too, Morgie told Mama. The next day, the twins got on the school bus. Hey, Morgie, sit with me, Billy called from the back of the bus. Moffy sat in the first seat right behind the driver. Today, we are going to learn our numbers, Miss Shepherd said. I can count from one to ten, Moffy said, and she did. Moffy got another gold star. On the playground, Morgie met Billy's friend Bobby. Can Bobby look at your dinosaur book? Billy asked. Sure, Morgie said. All that week, Moffy kept getting gold stars. Every time Miss Shepherd asked a question, Moffy jumped up with the answer. On Thursday, Miss Shepherd sat down next to Moffy. Moffy, it's wonderful that you know all the right answers, but I need you to stop calling out every time I ask a question. It's time to let the other children answer too. I'll try, Miss Shepherd, Moffy said. As long as they don't talk too long, she thought. Now, run along and play with your friends, Miss Shepherd said. But Moffy hadn't made any friends. She had been too busy getting gold stars. She went to look for Morgie. I'll get a gold star and more you can get friends, she thought. That afternoon, Moffy started to build a tower with wooden blocks, and so did Sally. 
I'm going to build the tallest tower, Mafi thought. I'm going to build the tallest tower, Sally thought. Suddenly, all the blocks were used up. Mafi's tower and Sally's tower were the exact same size. Mafi scowled Sally and Sally scowled. What's the, what's the matter? Morgie asked. I want to build the tallest tower, Mafi said. Me too, Sally said. Why don't you use all the blocks for one tower? You can build a really tall tower together, Morgie said. Mafi and Sally built the tallest tower in the classroom. That was fun, Mafi, Sally said. Yes, tomorrow let's build the longest train, Mafi said. Great, do you want to sit together on the bus going home, Sally asked. Sure, Mafi said. Class, come and sit down. I'm going to read you all a story about dinosaurs, Miss Shepard called out. Does anyone know any dinosaur names? I do, Morgie said, jumping up. Tyrannosaurus Rex, Apatosaurus, Triceratops, Stegosaurus, and Supersaurus. Morgie finished and the whole class clapped. Morgie knew so many dinosaurs. That was wonderful, Morgie, Miss Shepard said, and Morgie grinned. What happened at school today, Mama asked. How do you like school, Papa asked. I got a gold star, Morgie said. I got a best friend, Mappy said. We love school, they both said. The end.